What's, What's good, YouTube? YouTube? We is back with another video, and today's is going to be a new series that we're going to be doing on this channel, yes. and the title of it is going to be... What the hell are you thinking? What the hell is you thinking? It, is it, what the hell are you thinking? What the hell are you... What did I write down? What, what the, the hell, hell were you thinking? No, I, what... Oh, what the hell... You thinking? What the oh, hell? What the hell you thinking? Yeah, what the hell you thinking? <laughs> what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> All right, we just gonna go with what the hell you thinking? All right, so basically uh, it's gonna be the first <laughs> episode of what the hell you thinking? Correct. Um, this is not gonna be a podcast, but some days episodes are gonna be longer than others. For sure. So is you know we just you know wanted to give our what was the what Opinions? our opinion. <laughs> on certain things that's been going on lately, and you know, we could be doing that instead of you know, dropping videos every other week or every two days, whatever the case, our time limit has been on this channel. So, this gives us more, you know, more options to be, you know, yeah. uploading on the channel. Obviously, if y'all don't know, I have a channel on my own, Life is Young. Uh, subscribe over there, get us to 30k. She has a channel on her own. She is at 150K, 150K. So obviously. 151 she to be exact. <laughs> I, she already double lapped me a couple times, triple lapped me. So y'all don't need to subscribe to her. Just subscribe to me. For sure. Um, but anyway, basically, what we're about to talk about on this first episode of What the Hell, um, What the Hell You Thinking? Damn, that's kind of weird. What yeah. the hell is you thinking? What the hell are you thinking? What the hell are you thinking? What the hell have you been doing? Look at that. What the heck? What the hell you thinking? So basically, um, on this first episode of What the Hell You Thinking, uh, we want to talk about this whole Michael Jackson debacle. <laughs> this yeah. whole Michael Jackson debacle. Obviously, um, this is a a big fan right now. If y'all don't know, okay, you don't have to tell. Like, we everybody should know, but you know what I'm saying. But like, uh, if they don't know, I am a big fan. Okay, she's very a big fan. She's one of those fans, but she can't even think. Uh, no, but yes, I am not yes. one-sided. Yeah. I what? tried you're, you're to... You're the definition of one-sided. I, I was literally watching D.L. Hughley interview today on The Breakfast Club, and she know. literally had to walk out and go in the room because she didn't like what he was saying about Michael. No. Who? That's that's not... Your that opinion that. is invalid. <laughs> what? <laughs> His opinion was invalid. Like, don't that, be just talking... What's the definition of an opinion? Okay, whatever. Exactly. Like, what? But How I'm can you get that mad at somebody's I'm not opinion? Mad. I'm not mad. It's just like... But he, Tyler is the type of person where it's just like, if she don't agree with you, I don't think y'all can ever have a, a, a cool relationship or like a <laughs> like no. a friendship or something. No. Me, the type of person, we can, we can go almost blows to blows when it comes to argument, but we can be cool, especially if we're just having a discussion. Most people is not, you know, built like me. Obviously, y'all, man, too Whatever. many people come from that I, cloth. I, I listen, but, but um, uh, uh, enough of you know scratching on the surface. Let's go ahead and get into this. So basically, um, I would say a couple of days ago, almost not a week, but a couple of days ago, uh, a documentary came out on. Uh, was it Showtime? Was it? On I, Showtime? I don't know where it came out at, and I, cause I, I, I don't support none of it. So <laughs> I, right. I, I try to stay away from like where it came out on, and like what you like watching it and stuff like that. I think it was like HBO or something like that, HBO. or Showtime. Uh, I think probably, it was Showtime, yeah. HBO, something like that. Yeah, so there. on one of those. So obviously, they try don't know. Um, yeah, it came out on one of those networks. I don't think it was uh, um, the same one that R. Kelly came out on. I'm not sure. I because R. Kelly came out on Lifetime, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was Lifetime because it was, like, different. It was, like, how oh, yeah, different, yeah, yeah. like. So, basically, like, it came out. And to to tell you the truth about the whole situation, I haven't watched it. But I, yeah. you know, um, I, I, I will watch it. But a lot of people said it was, it, it seemed like it was a money grab. It's a lot of things on that documentary that... Did you watch it? I didn't watch it, but okay. I'm saying, like, I, I have a Twitter, so I follow a lot of MJ fans and stuff like that, and they post, like, clips of it. Fans. Fans and supporters. And I even have people on there that don't like Michael. Like, it's just like... Well, I don't follow them, but, like, it's, like, retweeted <laughs> and stuff. Like, it's just, like, you see stuff on there, like, on a documentary, like, the acting is bad, first of all. Like, it, it's just a lot of stuff that, that was just, like... Um, they contradict themselves. Like they, they, you can tell they lying. You know they lying. How do, how do you they know go, they contradict? They go back. How do they, they know, go back on stuff? How do you know they contradict themselves if you don't even know just both sides of the story? I'm sure. 
Okay, but my problem when I got with Batala is not a serious problem, but my problem when I have with Batala is the same problem I have with a lot of, you know, um, corporate white people in America. They don't take time to, you know, to even... I- to study the other side to they already not, get it's not like that that's but basically the, the way how you explain it it's just the fact of like this man been gone for 10 years and it's not like okay okay i understand i listen to, i will listen to your side okay molestation all this stuff like that i'm just a victim blah 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 like what you, what can you say you're you know personally no i don't but okay. i know he's a liar i know everything that how did you I, not know so that? much stuff that it's so much proof of what hey, he's been lying can he about come, can a person on the documentary come out and it probably show a bank account bigger than yours i don't know what that question but that, is asking. that's the thing you can't always <laughs> say nowadays everybody is you're I, i'm i'm down for it as well like but sometimes we can't always throw you, you, we can't just always throw like, oh, you're money hungry, you're money hungry. When people come out and say something happened, just because somebody not, not you know, bad off. There's a lot of people who's well off, whose parents was millionaires and all that stuff, and they just have trauma. You know what I mean? Like, the only reason why I say that they're money hungry, if you guys don't know, Michael Jackson was accused of molestation and stuff like that from the same kid. About what? And the the allegation started in 1993. He got acquitted in 2003. Multiple kids, not just one. Okay, it was like two or three. I think it was two. Wasn't it two? Um, it was Jordan Chandler, and it was um. the The guy I forgot. Like I think it was like two. So like, okay, whatever. He got he got accused of that stuff like that. Okay, so like when it all came out and stuff like that, we have a people had like a phone. It was a phone call between him and the kid. I mean him and the and the father. Like it was like two fathers on the phone. They talking about how they was gonna get Michael and how they ain't gonna see this coming and stuff like that. Basically just like talking about how they gonna plan to ruin his career. It, it's coming. Like he ain't gonna never see it coming. Like I wish I had the clip to put in there. Like it was just like they was planning on his downfall. You know everybody always thought Michael was weird. He hung around with kids, so it was like you know he was already being you know called wacko jacko all this stuff like that. So it's just like okay. So it, then when it came out, you know the molestation and stuff like that. Okay. Then all of a sudden, like, okay, he dies. Here we go. And all of a sudden, oh, no, he did not molest me. He went, he literally stood on oath and said that he did not molest him. It was all, it was just all, like, I don't know if they admit it and said it was all for money, but Michael ended up paying him off. Do you know what the definition of a Stockholm Syndrome is? What is Stockholm Syndrome? Stockholm Syndrome is basically when people go through stuff and they, 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 you know, They defend their accuse their their abusers or you know. It, it's not like that. I, I, I ain't going. But that's the thing. You have to. When it comes to me, obviously, I don't. Me, I, I live my own life. To who is nobody else to say to what how I live is right or wrong. So I look at a lot of you know. I, I look at other people's stories and I look at both sides of the fence. Even when even when it comes down to the lawyers and stuff like that, nowadays people don't even do that no more. They just go off one defense and they just cast cast what what's the word for it? Castage you, whatever. Chastise you. Chastise you. As soon as they hear the first thing. First thing they say, Oh, we you're canceled. You're canceled. You're canceled. Mm-hmm. Trust That's me. That's true. If if somebody came out and just said, you know, everything that we said was a lie about Michael, trust me, it's gonna be a lie about Michael. But we can't Nowadays, we can, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, nowadays you can't. It's I. Uh, it's it's basically dangerous for people to, to automatically think that the accusers are lying. That's very dangerous. Then you will have a a lot of years that we've been came past a lot of years before we was even thought about of uh, with women and males would not even come out. People wouldn't even not even come out cause they because they because they knew that people think they that were, they were you're lie. lying. You're one. You just for, for money. You didn't, you just did all this. Even abusers, they knew they had the power so much. Even abusers, you think about so many. Uh, you know, the old the old um stories about in amusing industries and stuff like that. The 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 abusers will even come out and say. Yeah, you, you go to the cops, they're never going to believe you. They're never going to. And it's they not even like that so in this situation, though, because every situation is different. And I know it's like a lot of situations where people felt like they can't come out and tell the truth because people would think they're lying or they're money hungry and stuff like that. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, like when it first came out, everybody was like, wait, wait, like what's going on? I wasn't I think I, w- I wasn't born yet, but like, I don't know the, re- the reaction, but it was like. 
it's just like, okay, it wasn't automatically they money hungry. It wasn't automatically that. I'm sure it wasn't. Everybody, I'm sure everybody was like, oh, my God, he's a molester. He hangs around with kids and everything like that. Everybody was condemning this man. So then, like, when everything comes out with the phone call and all this stuff like that and they plans to get money from him, like, that's that's why we always, that's why we pointing the finger now. Me personally, to be honest, truthfully, my own thing, nobody who, if, you, if you're in a facility or if you in a, I'm just going to be flat out and say, it, if there's no, me personally, if I was if 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 somebody see me next to uh to uh, what's the name Bill Gates, there's no way a motherfucker think I'd be hurting for money. That's just how I think. If you if you're in a facility where you're that close with Michael Jackson, you're that where he can, you could go to a birthday party, anything that this nigga touch, you could go sell it. I don't think you're really hurt for money. You're in a facility of Michael fine, Jackson. But you're it's not, not broke. The child. Just it's not the child. It's the parents. Greedy. Come on now. Greed. You with the biggest pop star of all time. The biggest star in the world. You can just steal. Come on now. But I, 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 that's a, me personally, I'm just gonna break it down how I feel. Obviously, we didn't watch the um the whole documentary, but uh, a lot of people said it was just like a you know it was just like hours. a sauce. It, it was only two. I, I, me personally, I want to watch it, but a lot of people I watch, you know, um, a lot of other podcasts, and they basically just said like um, a lot of people believe that Michael did it, but even the people that believe Michael did it don't want to watch that because it just seemed like it was a lot of sauce. Like I I, I watched uh, some other podcasts with Charlamagne and all them, and it, he was just like, you know what? Even if I was to the point where it's just like I did believe to the point where he did molest some kids and stuff like that, they the 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 production team who who did this whole story only looked at two people mm-hmm. and a people and a person that they was looking at. He was just throwing sauce on it, and people mm-hmm. were just like, you know what? It's nah, no that's why I wasn't blue. That's why I haven't blew up like the Art Kelly whole thing because it was yeah. just it was only two of them, and they haven't talked. They wasn't talking to no. Uh, no, no cops. They didn't talk to nobody. No parents. No witnesses. No nothing. They ain't even look at the other side of the people who said that he didn't do it. Exactly. And when it comes to you know documentary stuff, I like to look at both, both sides. sides. Yeah, like I'm really not a person. Important. Yeah. I'm not a person that's just gonna be like. Even if I, when I grew up, I really liked the Power Rangers. If somebody told me that Power Rangers was killing <laughs> normal people, it wasn't killing dinosaurs. I wouldn't be like, oh, no, Power Rangers would. Like, I'm the type of person like where it's like, it has to go both sides. Even That's though true. we look at somebody and be like, yeah, they famous. Yeah, we love this person. As a character, as what we see on TV, we don't know this person when we go to sleep. Because somebody will like Batala on her ASMR, but we don't know when she watching this is when she be yelling at me, y'all. That she be yelling at me, y'all. Like, she be throwing shit and everything. She no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, but the whole thing about like the whole Michael thing, like, can we just break break it up and really just go down like the rabbit hole? Okay. Okay. Michael is grown. Like, can, all right, let's go. Why was he want to be just like DL? Just like wait before you answer that. Just like DL Hughley said, if somebody came to some something happened and about a rape charge or something like that. I would look weird as hell if a grown man talking about go ask, <laughs> go get Tommy from down the street. He'll vouch for me. This grown man got kids going to the stand vouching for him. Even if the Tommy was the only person there, why is Tommy the only person there to vouch for this grown man? Where just like go get Tommy down. That's like some little kids like you been eating these cookies? No, me and Tommy was down the street when somebody took the kid. Go ask Tommy. Why is this grown man, his his people that he's going to put on the stand is kids instead of grown people? Like, you're that's already. All, that's all he hung around. That's not and, weird. And that's not weird. So, like, long story short, let's just put it a little bit, nip it in the bud. We're going we gonna to put it out there. Michael Jackson never had a childhood. Now, okay. everybody's different. Everybody's different. Everybody handles stuff different. Michael wanted to live his child th- childhood through children. He wanted to, you know, Neverland, rides. Like, it was all innocent to me. That's how I personally feel. I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. But I feel like, you know, he didn't have a childhood and he didn't trust adults. So, it was like, okay, okay, you know what? Child, this is, this is, he 
he puts children on a high, the highest pedestal ever. So it's like, okay, this is the future right here. Like, I want to live, I want to live my childhood through these children. I'm, I'm grown as ever. I'm grown, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna try to live my life. I couldn't, I couldn't ride a bike. I couldn't go run around and, and play in the field with, with kids and play basketball with everybody outside. I'm over here in the studio. Like, and I, and I get like, you know, some people might think it's weird, but. Michael, he Neverland was for like all the he did so much stuff for kids like he did so much stuff the hospitals he was the biggest humanitarian ever like he he okay, cared about you, the kids. okay you're not you're not but I'm breaking saying, facts you're this just is saying, this is fact no this no that's facts. what I'm saying but you're not you saying he's doing this he's doing this me personally I I don't think Michael Jackson ever wanted to be black I think my, Michael Jackson wanted to live his life as a white kid because if that was the case Michael Jackson has been to multiple countries and seeing how bad, you know, if, if if Michael was really, Michael would have been like something far as like Madonna. Like, and Madonna had her past and all this stuff, but Madonna knew she wasn't going to come to America and grab kids. Like, she went to the poorest, poorest and grabbed all her kids from out of like, them kids could have died the, the following week. And she raised them. Everybody can say whatever about Madonna. Obviously, like we don't care. Just like they can say whatever about Michael Jackson. We all live our lives, but when it start being I look at people when people need our help, our help when they was in a, fa- a facility to help others and never really did. Me personally, Michael Jackson had a big voice. He had a big voice. But sometimes you had to sit back and be like, you had a big voice, but your wallet was also big as well. You you put a lot of stuff out there for us to be like, you know, black or white and all that. Of course, opened up a lot of people's eyes. Like, Michael was really spewing. But a lot of times you... you uh, you know that big amusement park that you had that wasn't you know that that wasn't I couldn't knock on there and go up there that was in invite only a lot of stuff a lot of people that people say they are on TV they say that but then they go ahead and do something else you know what I mean like keeping people slaved in the contracts like taking a publishing and all that other stuff business wise Michael you know what I mean when it comes to white motherfuckers you you black so. On taking motherfuckers publishing business wise, boom. But if you want to really talk about that's that's life or death. People are not gonna eat off without they publishing. If if y'all don't know how music works, like I study trying to do music. Obviously, I try to still do music. Try to still do music to this day. When you make a song, if people I'm talking to the people who don't know nothing about like the music bit. Basically, when you do the song, you when you sell music and when you do all this stuff, other stuff, yeah, you gonna eat from your initial deal you're gonna get your money but publishing is what's really gonna feed your family publishing is really when when that song go into a movie or when that song go into a um or playing in a mall or whatever the case may be and you hear your song somewhere and you like oh i should be getting a check like oh fucking um uh What's the Transformers then paid and took my publish not took my publish but used my song and they the the movie grossed over a hundred million I should be getting a couple M's they like you don't own your publisher you gotta you gotta check for two dollars coming in and that that show money already burnt off if you're not a strong act like some of the big acts that can tour when they older if you're not like that and if you're not you know you know. Basically, you need your publisher. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like, you really need your publisher to eat. Or when you first blow up them couple, the couple hundred that you get from shows and off toys and all that shit, that's not gonna feed your family. You're gonna be here and you're gonna be going tomorrow. So basically, what I'm saying like that, Michael knowing that, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of fucked up if you really think about it. To other artists, taking a publishing. <laughs> a lot of people will die. Did you will die? Obviously, we go conspiracy why he was attacked. Yeah. But when it comes to publishing, niggas die off that. Yeah. Still a publisher? Yeah, he stole a lot of people publish- <laughs> publishers. He was not playing. I'm sorry. Like, it was just like the Beatles. S- especially if niggas sit there and write their all, write their yeah, song, do all catalog. this, and you take they, they, they catalog? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's not funny when it's funny. Like, Kanye, West, so Kanye, much. Kanye West is uh, is suing uh, EMI, e- 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 M- the... Well, he's he, uh, 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 basically a catalog thing. Mm-hmm. He sold it to him in two thousand and three. I I forgot for how much, but basically in the contract it said that Kanye West can never you know retire. So oh, basically when it, mm-mm. that's not really you know the the bad thing about it because when it comes down to music and stuff like that, you really can't retire until you recoup 
and you know what he sold it for basically selling his publishing for an amount of time and all this other stuff he basically right now telling you know what i can get more money for my publishing right now than what y'all gave me in 2003 Right. And, like, so basically that's what he's suing right now. He's trying to get his publisher back. But basically, like, that's what it is. If you're not one of these people and you actually wrote songs or wrote, like, if you're a writer, if you're a writer, you need, no, ain't no selling. Like, you need your publishing. You need royalties. You need all. That's that's how you're going to eat later on. Because when you pop in, t- I'm telling y'all, when y'all have $100,000, y'all might think that $100,000 ain't about to go nowhere. That $100,000 is going to leave you as at some right. point. At really some fast. point, at really point. So, like me personally, I just think like Michael want to be, you know, he want to, he want, he want to live his life as, you know, a white kid, and he that's what it, that's what he really used his resources from. Like, you a really, she's a really big fan of Michael, and I'm gonna ask her a question: How many black people has he helped? Like help, like you y'all have to understand Michael, my, and this is gonna be this is gonna go down to the. To the to the fault where people are gonna start fighting Beyonce later on in life. Beyonce is in Michael's shoes right now, mm-hmm. and nobody think that you know Beyonce gonna ever gonna get lower than what she is. But right now, it's hard for us to think like where is they? Yeah, they 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 making a killing in business. People like me is not touching them type of business though. You got to go through to even try to touch where they at. So I I I could grab them. But what what is they doing right now? Michael could have. Um, bro, Michael could have did a lot. Everybody say he was in debt, but Michael got in debt later on in life. And he was never really in debt because he had assets. He was just, you know, uh, basically what they say, liquid. Mm. A lot of people, when you're rich, you really don't have liquid cash anyway. That's why I try, me personally, that's why I try to have my mindset. Like, I, it's good to have liquid cash, but you always get taxed off liquid cash. Mm. So I got a room full of shoes. That that's having assets where I know this shoe could go for a thousand dollars. This could do, but it's not just liquid cash. Cops breaking my house and I have liquid cash. They can seize that and never give it back to me. My assets, they have to give me back my assets, and everything I could just sell for cash where I need it. Boom, boom. That's what a lot of older. That's what a lot of rich people do. They buy, they buy cars, they buy, you know, property. They buy. You can never just have. You will always get taxed, and every time you get taxed for the money, it. It's gonna leave, so you always gotta buy some. That's why a lot of people, you know, get you know tax evasions, or they try to put money off overseas and stuff like that to get busted. But back to the whole it, what with the whole Mike situation, I don't think like Mike never really did nothing for nobody. Like he could have changed a lot of black kids' lives. Like he I'm went sure he, did. he went through so much as a black kid with talent. He literally forgot what it was like being black with no talent how hard it was like he 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 was so young when the shit happened getting beat up by his pops and all this other stuff i don't think mike ever knew like how kids is being treated you know who don't have talent it, it just seemed because nobody would really care if it was if it wasn't michael he would just be a rich kid that motherfuckers be like, bro, shut up. Like, you got everything. You talking about because you didn't have a... Nigga, you got everything you want. Like, but, you got everything. But does that really define happiness, though? Only because it's Mike. No. Only because... Come on. If it was a white kid... If it was a white kid... Come on, you white kids get blamed right now because they they pops got money and they kid. The motherfuckers be like, oh, you ain't buy that. You ain't have to work for that. Your your mom got got you your mom rich. Your dad rich. They get blamed right now. Nobody's take <laughs> rich kids serious at all when they got struggles. Nigga, you ain't got no okay. struggles. Right. It's only Mike. We only say that cuz Mike cuz we lived through ho- the Mike situation. Well, not us personally, yeah. but a lot of people we saw the whole Mike situation. So it's just like that's what a lot of these Sometimes we love somebody so much that we don't understand that they're brats as well. I don't understand the whole beating situation with you know with with with, with Joe, but come on, you got to understand he had a lot of kids. Them kids was probably bratty. Yeah, they probably you know he got them to the point when they was making money and all that stuff. But think about when everybody started driving Ferraris and getting these white girls I'm and all sure that stuff, they was and bratty. nobody trying to make it to the to the studio. Nigga, if you don't get your <laughs> You know, get your ass to the studio, nigga. Like, if you don't, everybody having kids out of the blue, like, 
Obviously, there was a documentary that made it seem like motherfuckers. Just, they was getting married. Every documentary, bro, I swear, even with The Temptations, bro, everybody was getting married. Two scenes ago, oh, this person got married. This person had a kid. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think it was that fast in the, in, in the stories, but motherfuckers yeah. was getting married and having kids quick as hell. Like, damn, what the fuck? Like, and Michael just somewhere like, I can never. When you got whatever you want. This nigga sitting there off to the, with a fucking monkey on his, on his shoulder, like, that nobody shit. really, nobody, like, niggas. You can't have so much stuff and be the loneliest person in the world. You what do people not understand about that? <laughs> you think because you got money, you're going to be happy? Like, no, people can not. have the big houses, the cars, the everything, the women, but you just, you haven't found your AKA, happiness. A.K.A. A- a- you're not, we're, we're not, we're, we're not, uh, what's the, what's the word for it? We're, I don't look at you with you, my struggles is not your struggles. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so basically what I'm saying, just like um, when these Hillary Clintons and all these people come to to these urban schools and all this stuff trying to get the black vote, what people say, man, she over here trying to get the black vote. She, mm-hmm. We don't we don't sit here and we don't get your struggle. Same with Mike. We didn't get your struggle. Mike wasn't, me personally, I would have sat down to talk to Joe. That's the type of person I want to sit there and talk to. He he lived his whole life until his last kid for him to actually be like, not his last kid because Michael was like, what, the, the second from the last? The third from the last? Yeah, he was the seventh kid, and they had nine kids. So the so second from the last. So, bro, the, the third, third from the last. last. So he was the third from the last. So basically it was like Joe had to live his whole life with his wife, you know, all these damn kids, like li- <laughs> living in an era with racism and all this other stuff. Yeah, and sure. all he wanted was just like, oh, they're going to get some talent. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about what the the way he had to go through a motherfucker spitting at him. He talking about okay, and just having kids and the day when he kept finding out he he was you know he was gonna be a dad and he kept finding out where all the stress was boggling up. Like I gotta feed these kids. I'm not these kids not abortion. We not giving these kids away. I want to hear that. I want to hear where it's just like oh I'm a strong man. I'm going to work. I'm a my wife gonna be this. She gonna be this. I want to hear that because yeah. all we hear is. You know, he beat us. He beat us. The bro. way the way we hear the way that they dealt with the like the what the hand they was dealt. The hand that here. they was dealt, cause she. I, if I was dealt that way, bro, obviously I've never been really physically hit like that in my life. But trust me, like sometimes you got to pick your poison. That's all it is in life. Like yeah. no nobody's gonna get up and have you know. You're gonna pick your poison. Yeah, Nobody's gonna have true. a life. In the, it's even when you grow up rich, you gonna you gonna suffer some from some everybody you know, just snarling at you like, mm, like he not even that, not even that. Some people, some some people turn out rich like like J, uh uh Will Smith kids to the point where it's just like they push it away. Where it's just like I don't know my identity. Like yeah, I got a Ferrari. I got yeah. this everywhere I go. Like we think that's good when we go out of town and people open up our door. We this people smiling up. Like we like because yeah. we know the other reality. When we yeah. go back to the crib, it's back to the crib. Yeah. When you grow up like that, you don't know everybody. Just like ah, oh, your dad, <laughs> just your dad, your dad. You're you're like, what is my identity? Yeah, they gave me my name, but it's just like, bro, what? Everywhere I go, I I can never do nothing. Same with the Obama kids. Which like everywhere I go, I light a joint. It's on TMZ. It's aware. Like it's, I might as well smoke in front of my pops. Like, yeah, <laughs> I might as well. Case. He's gonna find <laughs> out. Like, it's, it's that, that's just the case. It's just you really have to, you know, pick your poison. And a lot of people bust their ass where it's just like, hey, I rather my kids go through that than what I went through. Cause at the end of the day, it's it's way worse, bro. Like it's it's worse. It it's worse from not eating than sitting there and not want to eat. It's way worse than you putting food on your kid's table and he like, I don't have an appetite. Then your kid sitting at that table and he has an appetite, you can't put food on the table. Mm-hmm. That's totally different feelings, bro. So you just have to pick your poison and be like, hey, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna make a way for it. So like sometimes we grow up and we not we we forget that our parents and the people that we look up to was kids. And as we was kids and as we get to grown up to be older, we have to understand that, like, you know, even the people that we look up to, they, they got a lot of money. And it's just sometimes a lot of people don't do what's right when they have money. Just like a lot of people do a lot what's right when they got money. A lot of people are billionaires and don't do nothing. When I say nothing, just buy Ferraris, go eat at the lobster, just 
and don't do nothing for no nobody. And in their head, they know when I die, I'm still gonna be a billionaire. Mm-hmm. And still don't want to do nothing for nobody. Never had nothing wrong with them. And that's what I'm saying. When it comes down to Mike, I, I open my eyes to a lot of things. Just like so, how overall to wrap it up? All right. Oh, to wrap up this whole Mike situation. All right. Go what ahead. do you? What do you? My my take on the whole situation of the documentary and all the accusations. Even though, like, I, I, you guys might think, like, okay, I'm a fan, I'm one-sided and stuff like that, but I just personally believe that he did not do it. And it's, like, a lot of people, you know, there's not diehard fans that feel the same way that I feel, but I personally, deep in my heart, don't think that he did that to them children. And with this coming back out, I just feel, my personal opinion, that money hungry. It's just, it, that's all I feel, like, and that's the end of that, you know. I'm not saying, like, I'm not, I'm not disregarding people's feelings about it. You can, you can think that he did it, you know what I'm saying, but I don't feel that way. So that's just just to wrap it up in a nutshell. People are money hungry. They're liars. They're 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 just greedy. They just I don't know. I just don't know. But I personally feel like he didn't do it, and he's innocent. Me personally, to be honest, I think Michael Jackson was weird. I'm gonna wrap this up so we can go on to the next topic. <laughs> I think. Oh, well, yeah. Thirty two. Thirty two. Uh, we talked about this for a long time. I yeah. mean, it's a big topic anyway. So to go ahead and wrap this up. Me personally, I think Michael Jackson was a weird brother. I don't think he wanted to be black. Uh, that's why, hence, he changed his, his, his skin color. He did not change his skin color. He changed his skin color. He Obviously, not, we're not, had, we're he not had a stupid, disease, bro. A skin disease okay. called Vitiligo. Okay. Okay. Yes, he had used to a person skin. that really didn't want to be black anyway. Oh, that is so. That, no. To everybody who has Vitiligo that don't change like that, okay. Um, in anyway, I, I don't think he wanted to be black. That's why. I, Okay, we don't want to talk about skin. We talk about facial features. We talk about body. We talk about the the man. the man lost like muscle. This dude went from like like as a black man. He was already skinny. No, he no, 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 no. Skinny. no. But the muscle. We're which if man watching this, we all know at when even when you skinny, must a man muscle body to a female muscle muscular body if my skinny to your skinny is going to be way different we we have what's the what's it called what what you trying to say we in our we have i forgot um, what the, no i don't know yeah but we have that as men and women don't is testosterone yeah testosterone we have that like even when even his like we all know what i'm what i'm trying to say I don't. but it just he just went look like very frail and all that stuff um, I okay. just think Michael was just, you know, he was just one of the weird dudes. And I think the time that he, I think Michael tried or did it once. And I think it backfired on him. Just like with a lot of people nowadays where it's just like, they'll let you do one thing and they'll get you. And once they lie on you, you can't say, oh, but I did it one time, but they lying about this time. So I think Michael did it. To a child one time, but I I think it was you know I I even it, I it's just what he know it's just you know him and God know I I think Michael did it you know to a I don't know what child on it but I know that's Michael did it but just just not what people how people saying it is so I give him the benefit of that but I I know Mike like if you look at that that's that, that's an open door for you know. How his house was built, how you know the kids that he that he wanted to adopt, like the kids that that supposedly not even his. He there's no DNA in them kids that has Michael in it. Like he adopted, he literally just adopted white kids with blue eyes. He want a type that he want, and he found a type and he adopted those. And his his whole house was just about kids and stuff like that. And me personally, just like uh. D.L. Hughley said, and all them said, like, Michael, when people go, you know, when people, as far as, like, on drugs, and they, they do stuff, and other people don't look at them as, you know, as the right way of doing it, they cash you out. So, you, you, a lot of people notice that all this stuff started happening when Michael cast out his family. Michael really stopped being through his, when he built that when when he stopped being around like all his family, when he did his own thing, all this stuff started happening. He let in the wrong people, even if they was lying. Let's say one day it's like Jamal, Michael never did it. I'm like, damn, 
but it's still in my eyes. Like, see, them people that you let it and let in your house mm-hmm. did that to you. That's true. And just like DL, he, he trusted too many. And people. just like DL Hughley said, like, and he said it in a joking way. He was like, he cashed out his his parents and stuff. And we all know how Joe Jackson would have. He would walked in there and was just like, stop touching on the fucking kids and stop fucking with your nose because you scare your mama. <laughs> It's funny, but we all know how Joe, Michael was scared of Joe. So if he was doing anything that Joe would like, come on now. Like, even when he died, Joe t- grabbed the U-Haul and was packing the shit up. Like, he couldn't get away from Joe. So just like pushing him off was probably like, I need to live my own life. But sometimes just like hunkies, and I'm not hunkies, but <laughs> junkies, but like junkies and people who, you know, that take drugs and stuff like that, they'll push you off because they know that they don't want you to see what's over here because they know you're going to be on the ass. That's why a lot of people's parents don't want them to see them nothing like that. You say, my parents come in, oh, mama coming in, I don't want her to see me like this. Like, they push everybody off because they know. I'd rather for you, you know, to stay over there than tell me, why you on that shit? Why you on that shit? You know how many people stop trying to be friends with us because y'all think yeah. y'all better than just because yeah. you tell somebody that you should be doing this, you should be doing that. People don't want to hear that. So, and Michael was, obviously we all grew up and we'd be like, oh, Michael was this, Michael was that. To steal people publishing, to walk around, to walk around like that, like on some, some Suge night, to got, Michael was grown and he thought as a grown nigga also. So yeah. nobody can say he, he, was, he was this. Smart. He was smart. Real smart. He was yeah. smart. And he, Very and he was a kid and he had anger problems, just like in the, you know, with the whole, um, the Oprah situation. What he was doing, he, he, you know, when she was saying stuff that he ain't want to hear, and he, like, you yeah. could tell he had yeah. problems. Like, he was, if this shit don't go out my way, get the hell out. Like, so, yeah, we, we just can't act like people are just saying. Oh, no, we're not, we not, you know, saying, I was, I never, because just because was you no was, saint. just because you like him so much, you don't know what he would have did to you, what he would have probably kicked you out for, what he did like this. A lot of yeah, people like, like that. Yeah, like, he probably could have, I don't, we all don't know Michael personally, but he could have been a dog. You never yeah, know. That's what like, I'm and I, I don't think he completely, like, you know, like a saint. Like, we human. all human. We all human. Like, I don't have an anger issue problem. I might be about But like, look both, it, but you got to look both ways because you know? the, like, the, the scariest thing is to tell uh, uh, somebody that's been abused that they're lying. That's the most scariest thing. Okay, but all right, that's enough about the whole Mike situation. All right, we're going to go ahead and talk about this one last thing before we go ahead and wrap it up, and this is the R. Kelly situation. Um, <laughs> the whole R. Kelly situation came about um, mm-hmm. so many years ago yeah. from peeing on this dude. So basically he just did a whole interview with uh, – Gail, that's her Gail, name? Yeah. Gail, whatever her last name is. I do not like Gail or Oprah. I don't Oprah. like Gail or Oprah. <laughs> I do not like them. They, 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 they money hungry. On my yes, they, they get what Greedy. they want. I don't understand why he even went there. I wouldn't even have my... my People have to it was understand. A bad idea. People have to understand. Like you, you should be getting paid for all this. Like, yeah. and you're, you're, you're going down anyway. You should be getting. You know what I mean? If, if God forbid, if something happens to me and, and I'm about to go to jail for some crap, and pe- everybody want my interview, I'm getting a bid in war. Everybody mm-hmm. always want to say like, oh no, uh, interviews and all that stuff is free. Media is free. You know, supposed to pay. No, yeah. you want my interview? I need a couple G's. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, for sure. but going into the. Uh, the story, so basically, like, he basically obviously denied everything that happened, and it just sp- sprung off a lot of memes because he was crying, <laughs> and he was <laughs> he was crying, he was slapping his hands and all types of stuff. It, it, he's been a laughing stock. He's been a laughing stock for probably a couple of days now. It's just super funny. So what you thought about that? Uh, this is another one that we didn't watch, so. <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch it, but um, in regards to the whole R. Kelly thing, um, think he did it why because of the proof of the video proof proof okay, there was no it. proof with michael okay, okay let's go okay okay, okay. The, there was proof in the video that girl was underage okay so i seen like i seen that so it's like okay that's proof right there so it kind of like it's kind of hard to not think somebody did something when it's like so many females and like this cult and all yeah. this stuff like that me personally i don't think it was a cult it was not, hell no, it was you don't no think cult. it was a sex cult? Hell no, it was no cult. There's no way. There was grown women, but he is a child molester. Obviously, you know, he he was soliciting. There's a lot of child molesters out here. Obviously, of, obviously he was solic- soliciting, you know, younger women to, you know, 
No, just soliciting a lot of women from high school and all this stuff, being with them and stuff like that. But you have to understand, just because I mind tricks you don't mean it's a coat. And Medea mm-hmm. mov- and Medea movie showed you that a lot of people don't get certain stuff at home, and certain just because certain people has the means and stuff to do it, they are bringing you that. Medea movie showed you that, and um, uh, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey showed you that. Where it's just like just because I'm to a point where I have so much money and I have a weird dark fantasy. They they put women and and males even if they they roll that way to the point where it's just like they know that you you don't have this. Mm-hmm. I got a I got a condo. I got I'm taking you. I'm driving you. So basically, they know they're not going to you know they're not going to the Bahamas. Not the Bahamas, but Beverly Hills picking up females because they used to that. Like boy, get up out of here. Yeah, they just, going to the hood. They going to the people who working nine to fives, picking them up in the Ferraris, taking them down there, taking them this, and you know making them think that they really love them. And once they start snapping and yelling, they like, well, he really loved me, and they really stop and be like, I don't want to go because. I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Then once you whoop your ass, you come back with a necklace. Mm, I was just this, please take me back, take mm-hmm. me this thing. Mm-hmm. You, you start falling in love, man. Did, my mama told me that stuff like this is going to happen when you love somebody and all that stuff. So I think R. Kelly, I, his money just ran out. That's it. I just, me personally, his money ran out and he's yeah. really, that's what happened when your money ran out. You yeah. got your dad, you got your brother telling on you now. You got, you know, the ex wives. Hey, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Ex wife. Ex wives telling on you. You got the the women that he was with telling on they self, yeah. saying that the, she was on the Breakfast Club, and you know she's saving her ass now, saying that she didn't know the girl that they was having um, a threesome with. She was fourteen, mm. but she didn't come out after that and say, oh. But you stayed with him, though. Mm-hmm. Now you want to say mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. He never told me that I had to find out. Like, she's 14. Whoa. Like, she was, I, I never really. Now you're coming out now when Girl, it's convenient. Bye. Exactly. Yeah. When it's convenient. But he you must have ran out of money then. When it's, come on. Now, like, yeah. you, you have to understand he's going to, first of all, Chicago. And he's going to places where people don't have a lot of money. And I'm not going to take it out on them because. Me personally, I would never do it, but I know how it is. Mm-hmm. I know where it is, and females are different from dudes. Like we, we built like we're all the same way, but we're kind of built different. We got to go get it. Some dudes, we have to, we have to go out here and get it because everything is a no. When it comes to females, it's so easy. It's not easy, but if you don't, if you don't have morals, it's easy. But if you do have morals, it's so hard because you have morals. There's a lot of females that grew up but don't have morals. Now it's so easy because, like, oh, this dude just told me to, you know, to sleep with him and his friend. And he going to give me a couple hundred dollars. Oh, I need this to get my hair. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's how it is in the hood nowadays where people just going and everything is a symbol. Everything is a social status to the point where it's just like. Now day nowadays on Facebook it's just like oh I gotta give me a white man I need to go get this I need my I need a car I need this everything is how can I get this mm-hmm. is how can I use a human being to get something um, just of material value nobody as nobody trying to plan nothing nobody trying to do anything because if it came down to the point if everybody wanted to work for something everybody would stay in school everybody would you know try to go out and get a job from going to college or something like that you got to look out for the people who's trying to get it so easy they want it so easy so a lot of stuff that they feel like is going in the dark would never come out to the light yeah that's why you got a lot of these dudes coming out and saying like like, oh, you bisexual? Like, I just thought I was like, like, whoa, like, what the about with the whole Usher? That's a whole different thing. But yeah. Usher got dudes coming out saying stuff like, what the? Well, I must have lost <laughs> in the sauce, bro. It's super sauce. Like, I don't pay attention to nothing. But with the whole R. <laughs> Kelly situation, I just think that his money is like really running out. I think he needs and help too, though. I think he really needs like needs professional help. Not saying that, like, being a pedophile is okay or nothing like that. Or, I just think he needs help. Like you can just see it, like nah, you can see the narcissi- the narcissism and all this. Like it's just uh, that's not he- me personally. I, that's not help because R. Kelly didn't blow up till he was like twenty seven. So R. Mean, Kelly already know true. what's wrong and what's not wrong. But basically, what I'm saying, R. Kelly is kind of me personally. I just think um, he 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 ran out of money, 
Um, and this is what happens when you run out of money because you you are so. We saw this movie so many times, even in real movies in real life. Uh, people who act a certain way and they ball under control. This 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 and get out. We ain't even seen this on fucking SpongeBob. Okay, we're back. Um, we're about to go ahead and just go ahead and end it because it the camera cut off again. So um, just give it our last debacle, not debacle, but. Our uh, last, re- just a recap, or or like the ending result, what we feel about how this we feel situation. about R. Kelly. So, what you what you think? Um, R. Kelly, I feel like obviously he did it, and um, he ran out of money, like you said. Right. Um, I feel like he needs professional help as well as a human, as a man, okay. you know, and that's really it for me. All right. Um, and with me, yeah, like I said, he ran out of money. I I, I don't think he really need help. I, I think this is him. To, to the day that he goes and the interview really just showed me that he's just a grown up child yeah. and he really For you know sure. he he acted out when he couldn't get his way yeah and that is true he's actually I I, just, I think he just should go to jail for the past things that he did already but everything that he's that's coming to the light it's kind of weird to believe it, but yeah. I do believe the the past thing. Like she you was, believe some of it, like yeah. something of it, you like. She eh. was, and that's the thing about us. This the thing about you know us, and when it comes to you know the man and stuff like that, yeah. they know that you can't. Back in the day, they did that. They threw the frame in. They frame you. They throw stuff. They still framing people today. But if you nowadays, people like us, we're getting you know we're getting smarter we're getting lawyers we're getting there so all that frame and all that stuff is not going to work so basically like when it comes to all these people with money they let you dig your own grave mm-hmm. they let you think that you're somebody that you're not just because um this person that's white or whatever the case may be they got away with it don't mean you fit to get away with it they that's they true. let you know right away that how much money you got you still it don't matter you're, you're still, still african-american like you know what i mean like that's what i feel about michael though like but but that, and that's the thing you, you prove my point no. to the point where it's just like they allow you to do that they allow that you think that you're gonna do that they are party like to a point where just like once you get some money and you start hanging around there and you going to be to the point where you just going to be thinking you could do whatever thing they want to do. And to motherfuckers let you know right down to the right down there that you you're you're not. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened with R. Kelly now. They thought they got so much money and sh- they was paying off lawyers and all this other shit. They would never have to go to jail because they knew people. Now motherfuckers like, we don't know you. No, nah, he's going. Just like you just said when it comes to the um to the Michael people. When when it came down to it, they like, oh, we're going to get him. We're going to do this. To the people that Michael was close to. Mm-hmm. Anybody that Michael That's was true. close to had money. Yeah. From friends, whatever the case may be. They was probably, Michael was probably friends with lawyers and people that own businesses and all this other stuff. For them yeah. to think like that, to get you out of there, to be the top, to for them to have that much power, like, oh, we're going to get you up out of there. Yeah. And you got way more power than all of them. Come yeah. on, now they look at you a certain way. So, and that's how I feel about Every black man that get to that point who feel like you know they don't owe no they don't owe their community nothing no more. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you'll be down, you'll be back down here in this community later on. Okay, yeah, Michael Jordan. <laughs> uh, I feel like he gonna be getting he 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 gonna get aimed at later on in life because you know they let him have his fun and it's gonna it, and I bet it's gonna be like one of his wives. Michael Michael Jordan been married what this is. Second or third time, I don't know, but it's gonna be one of his wives, and he's been getting white wives and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that it's like a race of white people. Like yeah, it's it's bad black people, it's black white people, but we all know when it comes down to money in this industry that we when it comes to to get a male, they use women. Any race, they use women to get male, especially it's either money, women, like fame. That's them. Them are the three, you know, that's gonna take you down. And when it comes down to you know. When it comes down to the mic and them, Mike gonna get caught up with with women, and I know he is because he's he's too powerful. And nobody's hearing that the same with Michael. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. gonna it's gonna it's gonna get caught up with women. So when it comes to R. Kelly, I just think he should go to jail for past things. This stuff that's coming up now, I don't think so because they're already older. That's why they had to say is a new female that's you know that's under new. underage like yeah. sixteen or fourteen. So. Until I see evidence with that, I haven't heard her or I haven't heard, you know, they, that person parents. All I've been hearing is these old ass women that's already 30 talking about, oh, he's been locking us up. Like, 
Okay, I don't believe none of that, but yeah. I I do feel sorry for the for the younger yeah the victims the, for the victims like that we that, don't yeah. hear nothing about. Mm-hmm. So other than that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. This has been J and B, <laughs> and this is B, and this <laughs> is, has been the first episode of what the, the hell, hell uh you talking about? So what the <laughs> hell? What the, what, what, what? The hell, what the hell you thinking? Oh, yeah. What, what, the what, hell? The, what the hell you thinking? We got to get it together. We don't know yet. It's going to be what the hell you thinking. It's just the It's just the first episode, and we don't know the first name. So, I don't know. This might be once a week, twice every week. But, yeah, we're going to let y'all know. Yeah, and if we you have any schedule. type of topics that y'all want to... Oh, about we're going to be talking about everything yeah. from YouTubers to oh, yeah. everything. We're going to be talking about everything from our life what's going on. So we're going to have a we're going to have a set date. We're going to have a set date. But now it's just the first episode. And this is the, you know, the first episode of What the Hell You Thinking? And my name is Jay and once I again. And this is B. And we're out of here. here. Peace. Peace. Poo, poo, poo. All right, before we go, y'all let us know in the comment <laughs> section how do y'all feel about the two topics that we talked about. Let us know uh, if you agree with me or B. Uh, if not, other than that, again, we out of here. Peace. Bye. Peace. <laughs>